ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. We're on day number 20, and as you can see, we're almost up to 45 million units of power in the orbital transmitter, which is good, but we still have quite a ways to go. You may have also noticed that we don't actually have the power source for the transmitter actually operating right now. As a matter of fact, the entire base is operating in low power mode. I'll explain why in a moment. But actually, let's just get down here. Oh, and of course, Jim Bob has taken roost on top of the orbital transmitter. He keeps mumbling something about being the king of the world. I don't know. <laughs> That's Jim Bob. Oh, Jim Bob. Anyway, so as I was saying, we are currently running in, a, in low power mode because what was happening is our base threat was getting up to around 16, 17,000, which was way too high. I could barely deal with it. It was just too intense. So I turned them off. I was actually switching them on and off just to... You know, uh, turn them on for a little bit, get some power and into the orbital transmitter, then turn them off. And we're, it's going to take forever if I have to do it that way. So I decided to tear apart our missiles. <laughs> I decided to tear apart uh, our missile con missile manufactory. I know that seems to make no sense, but here's the thing. Our missile manufactory was producing maybe not even two imbued missiles every minute. We need to be producing at least four of those per minute, and because we're playing in sparse power mode, that is going to be tricky. We're going to have to really expand it out. And I'm thinking, so four imbued missile manufactories, they are 512 power each per second. That means we're going to need 10 turbines to fuel those. So I decided to move it a little bit further from the base, and we're going to build that together today. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm... I'm going to dig all this out. I'm going to fast forward this while I dig some of this out. Be right back. Okay, I've cut out an area of 10 by 30, and we're going to fill that up with induction chargers. That should give us... A, that should give us six induction chargers. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Then the next one, perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Next one, perfect. One, two, three... Four, one, two, three, four, five. Next one, perfect. Oh, crap. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, balls. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I can easily fix that. I think. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so there we have our six induction chargers. That should fit 10 turbines nicely. So we're gonna put them down here, of course, and we're gonna place these in a very specific way. So I want them sitting out by one. So let's get to our turbines so we're gonna put the right so we're gonna put the intakes on this side of course and they're gonna be sticking out by one so one outside of the induction charger I want them all to share pretty much all the power of all of the turbines at once now whether or not that's gonna work I don't know actually we might as well just build all of these right now all the way across okay so let's go Boop. Yes, okay, one more, perfect. Whoop. Uh, built one too many there, and whoop. Is that right? Is that right? I think that's right. Yes, that's totally right. Okay, and then we're gonna build our first layer of turbines, but uh, just give me a second, I'm gonna fast forward while I dig in just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, because our base threat is so high, I did store up 300 missiles ready to go if things do start to get out of hand. I think we're going to be okay. I do have quite a few pink lasers. Really, the, all of our power is really being diverted into laser defense right now. Laser defense is not very efficient <laughs> at all. Um, I think the missile defense is way better, but just in case, we do have 300 missiles standing by. As a matter of fact, 200 of those are uh, da, 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 the armor piercing, so we should be okay. We should be okay. So one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to build all these fast forward too. Okay, 
hey, there they are, 10 turbines all facing away from my base this time. Last time they were just underneath the base and every time I came downstairs, I got zapped by them. It was terrible. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add some feeds going in and out of every single one. Okay, there we go. We've got our inputs and our outputs. We've got add, uh, remove only, add and remove, remove only, add and remove, remove only, add and remove. So there's an input and an output for each one of these. And we're going, this is our uh, high energy fuel line that is also fueling our uh, orbital transmitter. So we'll bring that, you know what, I'm just going to bring that straight down, I think. Whoops, whoopsies. We're just going to bring that straight down. It's not pretty, but this is the top or the bottom of my base, and I don't care if it's pretty or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nobody's going to see it. Well, I see it. <laughs> It's a disgrace down here. I don't want to show you guys all of it. Like, look at the mess that's under there. Part of that was because I had those turbines there and every they were kind of in the way of everything. So we'll bring that right down all the way to the first remove only one. There we go. So bring that down. Perfect. And we'll carry that all the way in like so. Beautiful. And we're going to do some turntables. Now, there's going to be a lot of turntables here. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to use hoppers as turntables instead. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't mind having extra storage of high energy fuel here anyway. But using all turntables might be kind of, I don't know, <laughs> might not be a good idea. So, oh, right. Actually, yes, that we are going to use turntables. We are totally going to use turntables. So turntables right here, turntable right here. Oh boy. And we will do a hopper here. And this hopper will connect the other ones. Oh, we've got to we've got to figure out how we're going to get the outputs out. Didn't consider everything here. <laughs> I suppose No, no, no. You know what? This will work. This will work. I'll 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 bring them up or something. Okay. So let's bring these down. Like so, and then in, like that, beautiful, like that, and of course, in like so, and then this last one, I will go under my staircase, <laughs> uh, maybe, yes, so I will go under my staircase, but I'm going to have to be creative, okay, one sec, ah, crap, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that, whoopsies, uh, everybody's done this at least once. If you point your if you point your cursor at a, in a certain direction when you're building something, or when you're using uh, super build, it creates a giant tower of craziness. <laughs> so I had a giant tower of conveyor belts, which is always fun. Just a couple more up here. Two. There we go. <laughs> Whoopsies! <laughs> totally by accident. Okay, let's get back in here. Maybe I should turn off jetpack. That might be a little bit easier. Perfect. And then these, this one can come. Turn this way and into the input. Like so. Perfect. Excellent. So and then the outputs, we're going to bring them up one. So the outputs are going to go like this and like this. Same here. Beautiful. And these two. Whoops. Like so. And then these can all connect together. Now, it's it's not always a good idea to have all of your stuff all in one line like this. It would be almost better if I had two lines because there is a chance that the system might get a little bunged up. <laughs> Um, just just like you know like people get bunged up uh, the system could get a little bunged up too um, if the if the outputs get full too full like totally full up on the empties the empty fuel canisters then the machines will stop running as well so if everything's coming out on one line like this it's a little bit risky it's a little bit risky but I think I think we'll be okay do I have a downslope probably not let's let's just build a downslope just because it'll look better a Mr. Downslope. Mr. Downslope, where are you? I, I love the up and down slope conveyors. They're so much, they look so much better than, uh, than doing it the other way. Uh, uh-oh. Okay. There we 
we go. And one downslope conveyor. Do I have it on my bar? Of course I don't. I never use them. I should be using more of these because uh, they're awesome. Let's go right at the end here. Zero. Perfect. Rotate. There we go. So there's our output. Inputs and output. That looks pretty good. I like it. Looks pretty good. I'm not going to activate these quite yet. I suppose I could. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Uh, the problem is this will also activate the rest of our orbital transmitter. So let's turn it on now. That should work. Add and remove. And that should fuel up all of these guys. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> I have that turned off. Okay, good. So, and once again, having all of these high energy fuel canisters coming down one line isn't necessarily the best idea either because, uh, you know, one or two of these turbines could get shut down if we don't have enough high energy fuel being produced. But I, I did add it to our, I did add to our refinery vat system as well. There we go. Powering up. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. See how they're only going. Yeah, it's not splitting evenly. So I guess using, hold on, maybe using a, a turntable here might be best. That way it's nice and even throughout, right? Perfect. So let's just see. It should be starting to power up the ones in behind too. Oh, maybe not. I guess we just don't have enough there yet. Let's let's go. Let's do some other things while that thinks about what it's doing. But it looks pretty good. We've got that going in. Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, right. I have to have these going all the way back. That's right. There we go. I almost forgot to set up the power or the high energy fuel going into the second layer of that, right? So that's why I test these things. That's why you have to test these things. You can't just run away right away. So that should be good. All of these machines should be capable now. They should be able to run. Perfect. And let's go take care of the top part of this. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess under here. I can probably clean it up a bit now that those turbines are gone from, you know, where they were. Okay, so now we need to set up the first part of the manufactory. Uh, let's just take a look. What is our base threat right now? Base threat might have gone up a little bit because we did get those turbines running. Okay, no, it's about the same. We should be okay at around eight, around eight to 9,000. That should be okay. So we have our our copper and our gold right here. And I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to have... The missile manufactories, like the actual empty missile manufactory, right beside it. So I'm going to clean out a little bit more here. Okay, I was going to finish building the copper and gold line over here, but I think what we're going to do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, they're getting pretty close to the base here. Let me just take a quick look. Uh, looks like we're okay on that side. How are we doing over here? Uh, you know what? Let's let's launch some missiles. Sure. I have some uh, imbued missiles. 100 imbued missiles ready to go. Sure. Let's, let's get some imbued missiles on the line. Kind of just kind of clean it up a little bit. <laughs> I still have the... Uh, I still have the, what are they called? The uh, the armor-piercing missiles, 200 of them ready to go if necessary. Yeah, I kind of figured this might happen, and you know, we just want to get them at bay, and 100, 100 imbued missiles should do the job. They almost do one-shot kills, usually do one-shot kills. Okay, so I think we're going to build this thing in reverse. Let's put the missile fueler on our bar. Let's use F4. Uh, we're going to put the missile fueler. Where is that? Uh, can I just group these together? <laughs> doesn't It doesn't group all the missile stuff together. Why is that? Where's the missile fueler? There it is. Missile fueler. And we're going to grab the empty missile assembler. And we're going to... That should be good for now. M missile fueler. We're going to do that first. So that guy should go right here. We're going to build two of them. Stacked one on top of each other. And these things are going to be fueled. Should I worry about the fuel? No, let's worry about the input. Input is going to be the small, the logistics hopper. Yeah, let's use the, should I use the logistics hopper? Input should be logistics hopper. Output should be a regular storage hopper. So these are going to be remove only. No, no, no. These, no, 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 no. I'm totally wrong. These need to be storage hoppers because we're going to be, we need to 50-50 these. And I'll talk about that in a second. Right. 
So 50% of... So it's going to need 50% uh, empty missiles and 50% uh, fuel, high energy fuel. So and then we're going to power these using PSB4s and Mark II solar panels, like so. That should be more than enough fuel for it. Okay, now input, we're going to need one... Oh, we're going to use... Oh, 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 yes, yes, I got these ready. We're going to use the zipper merges. Let's put that on F4. Zipper merges. These guys will combine two lines together. So zipper merge... Can I just jam that right up against it? Sure. Zipper merge, zipper merge. So it's going to do 50-50. 50% high energy fuel, 50% empty missiles. So then we need to do two lines... Like so. Whoops. Two lines like so. Two lines like so. And then on the side here, we're going to do this and we're going to do this. Yeah, that should work. And then on the bottom, we're going to do a turn type table like so. Turn table like so. And on then another line going in like that and like that. So now, so now we can add two more. How's that going to work? High energy fuel, high energy fuel, and empty missiles. So the high energy fuel can it will actually come from below because we've got the high energy fuel down below, but the empty fuel is going to come from here. I want to do it in the center just because I think it'll look nicer. <laughs> there we go. So empty fuel is going to come from here. Perfect. Or sorry, the empty missiles. Uh, are going to come from here. Perfect. And then the empty missile manufacturer. Should I do these? I should probably use all regular storage hoppers just in case. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we'll do storage hoppers. Those can be add and remove. And then our missile fuelers. Uh, let's put those. Uh, we've already got those on F4. Okay, missile fuelers. We're going to do two of those to double our output. And then these will be... Are, use two materials. They use uh, copper pipes and gold wire. So these are going to be remove only. Remove only. And this is going to be attached with a zipper merge as well. Because 50% and 50%. Right? I think I think this is making sense. I hope so. <laughs> if not, I'm going to totally embarrass myself and it won't work. <laughs> uh, I played a little bit with the zipper merges before. They are a little bit cranky about turntables. You don't want to do a turntable right beside them. But it, I think the way that we're doing it, uh, the, like this, is actually okay. I think we'll be fine. So we're going to do add a block there, block there. We're going to do turntable here, turntable here. Do a line in. Whoops. Uh, line in like so. Line in like so. Yep, that's right. And then we've got our gold. Gold is going to be here. Here, copper is going to be here, and then we can just do that. Doesn't matter if which one's gold and which one's copper. Okay, let me clear a little bit more of this out. I hope I'm not screwing this up, because <laughs> I, I, I tend to embarrass myself when I screw these things up. Um, okay, that should be good. Okay, so then we need to do the extruder, pipe extrusion... We'll put those on F4 as well. Pipe extrusion and the extrusion plant. So the extrusion can be... The extrusion is our gold. Gold is going here. I think I can do that right up against the doodad. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. And then the... Hold on. I missed one. I did two pipe extrusions. Extrusion plant. So is this the extrusion or the pipe extrusion? Pipe extrusion. Pipe extrusion, actually, I want over here. I, I just know it as, uh, you know, gold on the left and copper on the right. So our extrusion plant and pipe extrusion plant, extrusion plant. Perfect. And then our copper... Remove only. Sorry, our gold, I mean. Gold remove only, copper remove only. So that should work. I guess we're going to find out. I suppose we could test it. Shall we test it? Oh, yes. Power. Power. That's right. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then these are going to be 
the Mark II solar panels to power it. That should be enough. I might have to clear some more space up above here so that they get full solar power. And I think we're good to go. Hopefully I got the remove onlys right. I think so. I think that's right. Okay, good. So let's just add some gold and copper here to see what happens. So this one is gold. T, and this one is copper. T, and away they go. Gold wire. Copper pipe. And so it should it should divide them 50% up to oh 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 oh. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be fine. It doesn't matter if it's uneven. Like if it's coming out of the storage hopper uneven, if some of them's gonna go up top, some of them go at the bottom. Oh, actually it does matter. It does matter. It does, it does, it does, it does. Okay, so that's why we test these things once again. Because uh, you shouldn't have a turntable right beside a hopper. So we're gonna do that. That should work. Yes, perfect. So, and then we'll grab that storage hopper. Storage hopper here, storage hopper here. Line like so, line like so. And we've got to clear out some more space. <laughs> I, I knew this, I didn't know how big this thing was going to be. That's why I didn't want to bring my coal and gold and copper over here until I knew exactly where I, they needed to land. So, one here, one here. Doesn't matter if they're out of remove. These matter if they're out of remove. This needs to be remove only. This needs to be remove only. And then we've got F4. So the pipe extrusion goes on the right side. Pipe extrusion goes on the right side. And the extrusion plant goes on the left. Let's might as well do these right up against it. A little bit more space efficient. Not that I care all that much. Remove only. Remove only. That should theoretically work. Let's try that again. So gold on this side, copper, copper on this side. Gold wire, copper pipe. Now it should divide them up evenly and we're gonna end up with 50-50 in each of these storage hoppers, maybe. Oh, it's already building them. Oh, that's why. Yeah, so it will divide. Yes, it'll put 50-50 in each one of these. Isn't that great? So 50%, 50, it'll bring in 50 gold wire and 50 copper pipe when it's maxed out. And then it's going to do the same on the top, except it's going to do it with high energy fuel. So I'll bring in those lines right now. I'll do that on my own, uh, just so you guys don't have to wait. <laughs> okay, it looks good. We've got our high energy fuel coming in here. And you know what? I'm just going to remove... Ah, not that. <laughs> Whoops, uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see, that is the uh, pipe extrusion plant. I'm just gonna remove these, this on top here. That's totally not necessary because we have the turntables down here. Perfect, that looks great, looks good. And I think we're starting to build some completed missiles. Now we need to have a place to put them. So we're gonna put them right here in storage hoppers. And these are going to be add and remove, which is fine. We're going to add a conveyor going down and out. So all full missiles are going to come out like that. Isn't that cool? I think that's going to work out really well. So now where are we going to put our imbuers? The imbuers, I, I want to kind of strategically place them so I can have four total. Wow, all of this for only four imbuers. Isn't that nuts? That's nuts, man. That is totally nuts. So I think we're going to do, hold on, where, let's get our imbuers on the bar. So, imbuers, where are you? Where are you? Imbuers, where are you? There you go. Four imbuers. Let's throw them down here. So, I think I want to kind of stagger them out so that uh, they share power as best they can. So, do two there and two there. Or should we do two like that? I don't know what the right choice is because they'll both be sharing power from the center. I just want to be sure that this is optimal. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is optimal or not. I will give it a shot anyway. Uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments whether or not this is the most optimal way to do this. Actually, you know what? If we go, if we do it like this and like this, then we only need to put the line out like so. We go across, whoops. Like so, then we go down like this. Ah, uh, bugger. 
There we go. And then these guys. So we'll do one turntable here. Seven turntable right here. And this will lead to one storage hopper. This is going to lead to the other storage hopper. We'll just use the regular logistics hoppers, which should work. Remove only. E, remove only. And they're going to exit on the other side. This way we don't have to have a whole bunch of hoppers here. That should work well, sure. And then our missiles are going to leave this area. They will merge together right here. All of the imbued missiles are going to merge together and leave the area right here. And, ooh, actually, you know what we're going to do? Um, we're going to... Oh, perfect. I think I built one more. I think I built one more downslope. I did. I built one more downslope. Zero. Don't want to fall down the hole here. Like so. And then we're going to have the missiles go all the way down here. Ah, oh, this is so cool. So cool. Because we want it to link up with this right here, right? So I'm wondering... Let's break this for now. Ah, oh, bugger. There we go. Want, just need one there. Perfect. Let's just go all the way down as far as we can go. It's a nice straight line. I like straight lines. Everybody likes straight lines, right? Well, most people like straight lines. Some people like curves and crazy things, but I do like the straight lines. It makes me happy. I can't, I can't cut in a straight line, apparently. <laughs> So if we go like that, we can bring that down. Oops, up we go. I'm going to clean up the downstairs in a second. Um, I've been wanting to do this this missile upgrade for a while, so I'm pretty excited about this. All ten of those, uh, those uh, turbines are working now. Very, very exciting. So these guys, it's going to branch this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, wonderful. Oh, we don't need that one. And this one can turn in like that. And then we can bring the other line all the way down. <laughs> I will clean up the mess I made in a second here. And cool, we're producing four missiles per minute, theoretically. I think so, anyway. That should be four missiles per minute. Oh, splendid! Absolutely splendid! Now, the next thing on the list, guys, pretty important. Somebody was saying we need to go find the other T4 resource, which I think is molyb molybdenum? molybdenum. I'm pretty sure it's molybdenum. And that's all the way down at the bottom. And I think I found where it might be. So I will meet you guys downstairs. Okay, we're down in our nickel and our titanium mine. And I built a lift going all the way down to our biomass mine, which I thought was a really good idea. And I also built... I just want to have to put the perspective of how far down we have to go. <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah, we're going down, down. We're down to 600, and I think it's around 650, the biomass mine. <laughs> it's a huge mine, though. It's like 3 million in this deposit. So that's great. And I also built another lift going all the way down to the new chromium mine. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. So going down deeper, deeper, deeper. We're down to about 700 and some... <laughs> The perspective, it takes it takes a good three minutes to get downstairs. It's crazy. Like it takes a while. Maybe even longer. Maybe it's like five minutes. I don't know. It takes it takes a while to get all the way down. So now we're at 700, almost 800. Is it 800? Wow. 800 meters underground. There we go. 800 meters underground. Now I did detect. Let's go to ping unknown. Yeah, right now we can't actually mine this chromium. We're missing something. Let's go check this one out. Start digging. Oh, <laughs> lag. I just got a serious lag. Now we are starting to get attacked pretty heavily again because we t we just fired up 10 new turbines. But um, we're producing a lot of missiles. Now it's not quite four per minute because each turbine only produces 182 power per second. So total it's like, I don't know, it's like 3,600 units of power per second. So I could use either one more turbine or actually just a, a solar panel in there somewhere, like a, a Mark IV with a solar panel. It's pretty dark, isn't it? Let's use our headlamp. There we go. Now we got, Now you guys can actually see, sort of. I'm just kind of digging this way. Maybe I'll use our super build. 
Not too worried down here. We've got lots of power down here. If we need, we can always go grab if necessary. Hopefully we don't fall though. I didn't even take that. I didn't take that into consideration. We could fall down here, which would be absolutely horrible. Oh no, sand. I hate sand. <laughs> no, no. Get me out of the sand. Oh, okay. Well, let's go this way. Oh, perfect. We're actually ahead of it here. So up by one and let's go this way. Let's super build or super, super dig. Problem with super digging is I always end up digging too much. So yeah, this is this is quite a ways down now, eh? Quite a ways. It's fine. Ping again. Ping unknown. Oh! What's that? Oh, that's titanium. I didn't even... Oh, there it is. There it is, maybe? Hold on. Ah, unknown block! There it is! Yes! Oh, yes! Beautiful! So, let's go research that. And researching the unknown material? Yes! Molly... Molybdenum. Molybdenum. <laughs> yes! We finally found it! Oh, and that opened up... Oh, there we go! The Frozen Factory expansion! Oh, wicked! With the Nova growing ever larger, we need to see about relocating ourselves to somewhere less inhospitable. <laughs> The methane-filled cold caverns should provide us with cover if we're able to terraform them. Researching this will give us inf all the information we need. Note, all machines unlocked by this research will require the Frozen Factory expansion pack to be installed. Oh, it requires... Oh, 64 alloyed machine block and 64 overclocked crystal. Fortunately, in my travels in the last couple of days while I had uh, uh, an abundance of time, I did build an overclocked machine. It's right here. It requires a lot of power. So I've been slowly building overclocked crystals. I need a few more to go before I can research that. But hey, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. So I will get on that as soon as possible. <laughs> I had me some worms. There we go. Dead worm. <laughs> so he spawns here all the time. Drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to build two Mark IVs. Well, there you have it, folks. I still need to replace one of these uh, Mark I solar panels with a Mark II, but there you have it. There is our missile manufactory. Um, we would get full power for all of the missile imbuers during the day, but at night we wouldn't have enough. So this should produce enough surplus to start actually filling up these Mark IV batteries, so it actually uses that power at night. So there you have it. <laughs> for four missile imbuers, all of this for four missile imbuers, but compared to what I had before, if you remember on the last episode, I think I showed you what I had for the missile manufacturing. This looks way better, doesn't it? I think it looks kind of snazzy. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Um, you can't actually see the missile imbuers from the front, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't need to. <laughs> and unfortunately, that is all the time I have today. I would love to do more, and we kind of focus on only one thing today, but it was pretty important to get this missile system up so that we can continue fueling our orbital transmitter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in a couple more days. Take care. Bye-bye.